to do that anymore. <laughs> I was too committed, though. <laughs> All right, so Battlefield Game 1, we're going to get the Cloud versus Bayo. Tyroi, a couple weeks ago, almost a month ago now, Ned crushed him, like just destroyed him in a set. And Tyroi got real discouraged. He said that the matchup felt unwinnable for Bayo. Then he came back and beat Ned, like, the next day, or like the next week, like he must have just gone home and lapped Cloud stuff to know yeah. what to do. Because that's, that's... Poplar? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, back on Thursdays. Right. Yeah, I know that sometimes Tyra thinks he wants to pull Meta Knight out in this matchup, but then you, he like instantly hates himself. Yeah, you, you just you don't want to do that. Like, right. I've done nothing but play Meta Knight for two weeks. You don't, you don't pull that out against Cloud. It you just doesn't that out feel good. Ned. Against Ned is fine, but not anymore. Like <laughs> once upon a time, Ned played Sheik, and the Meta Knight pick was amazing. That's no longer the case. Now you're seeing one of the best clouds in the world. Like, right. Probably top five or six at this point. I have yeah. To oh yeah, yeah, I completely agree to that. With the influx of Bayos, it's hard to say where Tyroi actually is, but as Zero tweeted out actually today, or yesterday or today, he said he thinks Tyroi is the most underrated Bayo out here. That's because he absolutely is. He's probably like the player where if you look around the, the country and you go, all right, here's PGR, who should be top 50 that just isn't? And Tyroi has had those sets. Like he has a win on Nairo this season. Yep. Like a 3-1 convincing win too. Yep. It wasn't one of those like close just beat him, and he called his shot too, because that was the matchup he wanted out of that top eight, because he likes the Zero Suit matchup. Mm -hmm. But right now, this is not Zero Suit. Now he's going against Cloud, as we were talking about before, and Ned has Limit, and he loves Limit because he loves moving around with Limit. Yeah, we were dead even right before that up air, and this is where it gets good, especially with these two. Back air, not quite going to kill, because Battlefield. Was, that was a good punish, though, on Ned's part. Yeah, just punishing the short hops. Uh, Tyroi does that a little too much against Ned, where he'll short hop, and Ned'll catch him with a crazy aerial. And the dash attack, which he has gotten really disciplined at only throwing out generally in kill situations or when it combo confirms. Like, he'll never just throw out a dash attack, ever. And that time, it killed. That time, it was ready. Bale's late. It did. It rage. looked like some suspect DI, though, on Tyroi's part. Maybe he wasn't expecting the dash attack. That's true. Um, it's possible it would not have killed off the side, but that much rage. Yeah. Bayo as light as she is. As Bayo showing that she herself also has a very good back air. This is like the battle of the best back airs in the game. Right. Both these two have such good moves in general. Like, all their aerials are strong. Like, Zero Suit used to be considered, like, widely one of the best back airs in the game. And then these two characters got input. And Bayo just has Zero Suit's back air, I'm pretty sure. All right, I've talked about that character too much this set. Uh, Bayo already at 92% off of a couple of hits from Ned. And Cloud, such a heavy hitter, with Limit almost charged, and Tyra has just not been able to touch him since he took that, that back air stock. All right, there we go. Gets in a little bit. Got to make sure it stays interesting. Neutral air going to break up that combo potential here. Ned, Ned just... You can't get, he can't get in right now. Tyra just cannot get in. Well, he got a little bit of a combo there. Yeah. Putting him to 50%, but got the scraps of a combo there. Ned just he needs a witch time. Standing there menacingly. Witch time's the best bet here, I think, but we will see. Ned has not been very eager to throw out buttons for any particular reason. He hasn't needed to. Short hop up air. That move does everything. <laughs> Oh my lord, it shield pressures, it spaces. Tyra though, building up this combo, getting to 86%. Now he has some options. Falling neutral air there, gonna catch Ned trying to run through. Down tilt, goes, gets the second back air after the first one. That comes out so fast the second time? Yeah. My lord! Just like, no ending lag. Just dancing around and... Another back All of a sudden, this is last knock, last hit. Oh, that was that, that blade beam? He had just gotten hit by the bullets and he was ready for it. Blade beam saved him by like a frame. Oh my god, this game has gone nuts. Down tilt. Oh no, he's too high so percent. So close. But yeah, the back air, Tyro bringing that all the way back down over a hundred percent. Wow. Couldn't touch Ned and then all of a sudden, a switch flipped and he became the Highlander. <laughs> there can only be one here. Only one of them won't get hit at a time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a way to make that work.
Right. Sometimes you just say things and you hope for the best. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone can make a weird connection off of that. That's Oh, my God. Just, oh, no, that's not happening. That would have been so insane. Just come right out of the gate with fairs and just go the distance. Choo choo. Right, Ned looking for these up airs that he so loves. Gets the dash attack on punish. It's like knowing it would work based on the uh, missing on the side B. Up air into short hop back air. Pretty sure that was true at that percent. Ooh, that was down Good. throw. Patience and reaction. Oh, he was expecting the jump. If he had just kept the combo going, Ned was just going to die. That would have been ridiculous. Ned got out of, like, everything imaginable that Tyroi threw him. Yeah, that was kind of insane that he's even alive. And now he has limit charge and bails at 92 and eats that cross slash right in the face. Oh, yeah. Hit it like a steak dinner there. I mean, the throw out of witch time. Not much happening. Now, remember, there's a best of three set. So right. Tyroi with the, the game one advantage. So Tyra does have some wiggle room just in case he loses this. And with, with those up airs, four, five. five. Another one. <laughs> Another one. Another 19% there with the limit cross slash. Oh. Oh, no. no. Okay, yeah, he just wants to go to game three. That's all he wants. That's why he did that. Yeah, he just wanted to reset. All right. The weekend sitting there thinking about what he's going to counter pick. The whole weekend. We got the weekend in Blyro on stream. Black Nairo. I want to see, I want to call Tyra Chance. Because I want to say Chance Time, you know Mario Party? Yeah. The sound yeah. effect, Chance Time. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I want to say whenever he sits down. I want that to be a thing real bad. <laughs> we need a blind cam. <laughs> <laughs> I want blind cam in the worst way. All right, game three here. Bringing it to town and city. Ned versus Tyra. This is our one and two on the PR. I forgot to mention that. If you are new to the Chicago scene or just don't know our PR, yes. these are two of the best we got. They, other than Zero, they are the best we got. And Zero, number Zero on the PR, per his own request, allowing Ned and Tyra to keep their 1-2, as he is new to Chicago, but he is already one of us, waiting in winner's finals for the winner of this game three. These gentlemen have played each other very even. Uh, Tyra with the crazy comeback game one, Ned with the convincing win game two. So let's see how game three pans out here, and already some percent on Ned here as Tyra takes the lead on Town and City, but let's see what Ned can do now that he has limit. Loves those movement options, and already he's jumping and flipping around. I like the falling there with the bullet art. Just get some of that damage in, but yep. got punished for it, going a little too far off stage. Bat within's the up air. Side B into fair. Is that like the up air hitbox? What was that? I'm not entirely sure. That was just a lot of goodness there from Tyroi. Yeah, that was kind of a crazy combo. Back air? All the way up. Does that even have a jump right now? He did not. Nice tech to live and the uh, secondary hit of Uppy after catching him with the Uppy to live. That platform might have just saved Tyro's life. Maybe. Maybe. Tyro? Yeah. Could have been. Because uh, the second hit of... Net doing himself a service with that crazy tech to not die there off right, of the, yeah. the offstage. What was that? Neutral air, I believe. That grab. Now Ned has the stage control just outside of limit and he finally gets it back to this fast-paced movement that he has with Limit. I believe that was Ned's first grab of the set, and what's crazy, against playing against, you know, Bayonetta's got the Witch Time. Yeah. So you see a lot of people get a little grab-happy against the character, like, grabbing is good. Ned does so well in this matchup for what it is without almost ever grabbing. That's mm -hmm. so insane that he just, like, is very good at pr not pressing buttons when he doesn't need to, to not get punished. Oh, man. He pressed the good buttons there. Tyroid dropped shield a second before that, and Ned predicted it a second time, and predicted it very, very well. He will take that first stock. Now Tyroid in desperate need to finish this out, because Ned's sitting there with the up airs, and now he's got max rage too. Uh, up air though, right, that'll finally. do it. Looked like down tilt up air. Some bread and butter stuff from Tyroid if that was the case. These guys so familiar with each other. Probably the biggest history, other than maybe like JJ and Dan of two players playing against each other since from the beginning of their respective Smash 4 careers. Right. Ooh, get a little up. bit of a clank there. Yeah, the up tilts trading with each other, as it should be. Right. These two just looking for something. Ned finds the first hit there in that neutral reset. That up tilt, that, that up tilt was very well spaced. Oh man, he's just following up with everything. Tyra having this problem where he can't get in again. 
Uh, they've, been, they've been at this spot all three games. Can Tyroy bring it back and do something crazy? Not get touched for a while? Or will Ned just convince him to take it? Uh -oh. Ned's going up. Ned's uh -oh. going up. Is he coming down? He's, He's not, not coming down. That is going to be Tyroy taking it. And just, I mean, that's just so crazy. You get a little bit of rage on Bayonetta, a little bit of percent on your opponent, and just like that, you've locked the stock down. He read everything that Ned did there. Yeah. That is... As strong as that is, and as good as Bayonet is, it's underrated how difficult it is to actually pull those combos off. Like, occasionally you'll get them. You do have to figure out how your opponent's going to SDI, how you can read it, which direction you're going. Right. Sometimes you can just go up, up if they, if they SDI straight up. A lot of times you're going to wind up on the sides. Tyroy went up there a few times with Ned in the game one or two when they were on Battlefield. Yeah. 